Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. Like many other people around the world, I've had to endure a heat wave in Ottawa for about the last seven days or so. These massive heat domes are just sitting over areas, many, many different areas in the, in the Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, globally, and uh, causing, causing incredible incredible heat and humidity for long durations of time and temperatures aren't dropping at night so you know people just get worn down over time so i'm going to talk about the details of what's going on i mean you've guessed it the arctic is it's arctic uh influences on lower latitudes what happens in the arctic doesn't stay in the arctic so we have 24 hours of sunlight Right now, we have the boreal summer up in the Arctic, and the uh, snow cover over the land and the sea ice are exponentially declining. They're very, very rapidly disappearing. So the energy from the sun that used to be reflected by these light surfaces is now hitting darker surfaces. The whole Arctic is darkening. So that energy is being absorbed from the sun, that extra energy, and that's heating up the Arctic. It's heating up the water, it's heating up the atmosphere above it up in the Arctic. Um, the energy that, all that energy that goes into melting ice, when there's a lot less ice and snow to melt, that energy goes and will heat up the water, and uh, there'll be more evaporation, more water vapor, and the Arctic is becoming part of uh, the Arctic Ocean is becoming very much like the Atlantic Ocean, at least on the fringes, or in the Pacific Ocean. We're losing the nature of the, of, of the Arctic. We're losing that region. So the, the, the temperature gradient or the temperature difference to the equator is very, very much reduced because the Arctic is warming so much faster than the rest of the planet. So the jet streams are becoming much wavier and they're much slower and they're getting stuck into place. So what we've had is we've had this jet stream stuck over the eastern two-thirds of North America. Um, it's been like that for a long period of time, the last week at least, and so there's a heat dome underneath. There's, there's a, it's a ridge. Um, it's warm, humid air coming up and it's just sitting there because these jet streams are not, um, they're not traveling waves around the planet so much like they used to. Because they're so wavier and getting stuck, we're getting all of these persistent patterns and we're getting, things are happening for much longer durations. I mean, think back to Hurricane Harvey sitting over Texas, moving a few miles an hour, basically, dropping huge amounts of rain, up to five feet of rain, because it didn't clear out. The jet streams weren't carrying this across. Also, Tornadoes are way down um, in the U.S. this year. The jet stream has not been there um, in, in the regular locations to, to spin up these, the rotation of, of these storms. So this is my blog, paulbeckwith.net. Uh, please have, have a look at it. Um, and all of this work I do to educate you on the climate system, I just try to connect the dots of, of climate. I try to um, interpret the scientific papers, the details, and give you um, give you sort of a you know the key points of different discoveries, different uh, research, and how to try to fit it into the overall climate system. Um, on my Twitter page here, um, there's this article here which I'll kind of focus on a bit. It's a Washington Post article. Red hot planet, all time heat records have been set all over the world. Uh, but before I go to that, um, and just at Paul H. Beckwith is my Twitter feed, please follow me if you aren't already doing so. Um, so, what's happening in Canada? Okay, there haven't been any deaths reported in, say, Toronto or Ottawa or Windsor, you know, or London, all of, you know, the major cities, Quebec City, the major cities on, you know, or in the Maritimes, Halifax, there hasn't been, I haven't heard deaths reported from the heat, but in Quebec, 
there's a lot of reports of deaths. And this number is just going to keep rising for a while, at least for another couple of days, even though the, the, most of the heat has broken um, in the last uh, day or so. So the number is right now is 54 heat-related deaths in Quebec. Um, so 28 of these are in Montreal. So now, um, basically, so, but the temperatures have been low to mid thirties. So multiply by nine fifths and add 32. So 35 degrees, um, is, um, 35 by five is seven times nine is 63 Add 32, 95, 95 Fahrenheit. 95 Fahrenheit, um, that's about the highest temperature or so. Um, and the temperature at night uh, doesn't go down, you know, it's over 70-ish, um, over, over 20 degrees uh, Celsius. So um, there's a breakdown in different regions. You know, it's mostly the elderly, people that are most affected um, by these heat waves are of course the elderly. If, you're, if your body's in a frail condition, um, you know, if you've got a lot of ailments, you know, which a lot of, as you get older, you tend to get more ailments. Or if, you know, if you have chronic diseases um, and if you don't have a lot of money, like if you don't have air conditioning, if you don't have access to pools, if you don't have a vehicle or money to get on a bus and go to a community center that's air conditioned, you're stuck inside this row building or this high rise. And, you know, if you don't have family checking up on you, if you're not act socially active, so people can see and, and hey, this person's not themselves, get them to a hospital, right? They're, they're not, uh, you know, we're very bad at self-diagnosing. Many of the, most of the deceased are men, actually, and they're, you know, they're in the uh, sort of, they're over 50, between 50 and 80. Uh, many, in fact, over 65, so physical or mental health problems, okay? Um, and basically, you know, here, here's a persistent heat wave. Um, this is a two-day moving average. Um, there's different data, all of the different lines are a separate year. And these are some of the key <coughs> um, events. So here's where we are in 2018. This is the heat wave that we've been enduring, which is very, very significant. This is June through August. Um, generally, the previous, you know, this is in 2010, there was a peak here. There was a plateau here, peak here. When you get a sharp peak, it's not so much a, a problem. It's when you get a long duration, people just get worn down. And as the heat wave um, continues, there's more and more uh, fatalities. Also, it's very, very high humidity. Now also, you know, this is up in, in uh, Canada. You know, this is, uh, you know, uh, fairly far north and people just aren't used to this type of heat. You know, this type of heat in a desert in, um, the Middle East, you know, no problem. I mean, the, the humidity is much lower probably, um, unless you're near a body of water where there's a lot of evaporation and you have wet bulb temperatures of 35 and the body is not able to perspire and get rid of heat. So you can be sitting in the shade with a wet bulb temperature of 35 degrees Celsius and uh, your, your body basically breaks down uh, very quickly. Um, you know, you're dead, you're dead by the, you know, half day or so, or by the end of the day, you know, with that type of condition. So there's still, you know, paramedics responding to four thousands of calls. Um, and uh, public health officials are continuing door to door checkups and visiting old folks homes, etc. Um, you know, 60% of those who died in Montreal were men living alone. So they're, you know, they, they, they're not as social as women of this age. Women maybe are more social. They, uh, they care more and, and take care of their health more. You know, men uh, will tough it out. I'm going to be okay, etc. Multi-story um, buildings. So this number is going to jump up a lot. And... Um, in, in Quebec, there lots of people don't have air conditioning. I think one of the estimates was, uh, you know, something like 
sixty percent or sixty five percent of all the people live you know have access to air conditioning there the rest don't okay again it's sort of a it, it's a it's a uh you know it's a class thing it's a poverty thing people poor people don't have access to the air conditioning and um you know they sit at home they don't have access to transportation to community centers they don't have the social networks or social uh you know, maybe not, don't have family, don't have friends checking on them. And this is when it's a real problem. Now, we've had heat waves in many other places. You know, remember the one in Chicago a number of years ago? Of course, a European heat wave, um, you know, that killed 70,000 people. 50,000 50, of those were just in France. Okay, a similar heat wave to that happening there again would have much less fatalities because people, because cities and, and countries start taking it serious when they're hit by an event like this and plan. So that's going to happen in, in Canada, not just in Quebec, but it's going to have people need to start taking climate change serious, um, seriously, and they're not. Okay, um, so here's some more stuff about southern Quebec. Um, you know, they're asking people not to call uh, 911, which is an emergency, call 811 instead and talk to somebody and then they'll do an assessment of you and uh, see, um, you know, mayor is asking for help, check on the elderly. Um, here's the smog warning, lots of ozone being produced. I'll talk about some of the side effects of heat waves. You know, the body, after a couple of days, the body's capacity to adapt or function is is just lost now here's trudeau okay i'm calling him i'm inverting these letters i'm calling him turdo t-u-r turd o because he bought a pipeline for it's going to cost three and a half billion but it's going to be more like 10 billion or 15 billion it's absurd i mean we're supposed to divest from fossil fuels you know the liberals have been a huge disappointment completely lying on um first past the post changing the voting system to proportional representation outright lie just said oh we're not doing this anymore after the election promises were all there um, also take action on climate change they held hearings for the first year they're putting in a carbon price you know ten dollars a ton it was supposed to come in you know they had three years almost in power and there's no carbon price okay it's supposed to be at the end of 2018 and uh you know it's just like put it, they could have put in a fee, a carbon fee, a carbon tax, carbon fee and dividend, you know, after a month of gaining power. We could have had that for two, the last two and a half years, but instead of that, they've been pissing around. So anyway, in, in Ontario, where I am, um, they just, people just voted for uh, um, Doug Ford and he's getting rid of the Green Energy Act, which is rebates to homeowners. He's, he's no more cap and trade. You know, complete, he's basically climate denier. I mean, with all of these deaths, if you know a good lawyer in Canada or elsewhere, I think we need to start taking these people uh, to court. Um, their, their actions are directly responsible for killing people. Um, so different than going out with a gun and shooting somebody. Their actions on climate denial, and I won't, don't get me started on Trump, are, are criminal. They're, they should, they're, they're, they're completely, um, insane. So anyway, you know, it's the combined humidity and uh, temperature that gets people, you know, and read up, Google, you know, heat strokes, signs of, you know, what happens, dizziness, fainting, confusion. I mean, you know, if you don't have air conditioning, if you don't have money to go out, just fill up your bath with cold water and just go and lie in your bath for an hour each day. You know, lower your core body temperature, let your body start recovering. Um, okay, so anyway, that's enough about Canada. Um, Jason Samenow, Samenow um, this is a guy who, who uh, you know, criticized my jet streams crossing the equator a couple summers ago. Um, he's sort of coming around a bit more and more to, uh, you know, accepting climate change and what it's doing. But let's talk about some of the um, things that are happening around the globe. So I'll be continuing in another video. So thank you for listening.